in the fact that if you have something that's specific maybe in your cabin or something that you think would benefit everybody please let me know ladies and gentlemen no it's all Schwartz Schwartz what, have you just come from an activity where have you come from I'm talking to Schwartz where, where have you come from the great Taurus and you haven't had time for lunch or anything have you you're eating so please no take a seat go, go sit and just over there go go relax no, let, let Calvin do it no no it's okay Calvin okay. wants to do it no. <laughs> sit down Take a break. Do you think he deserves a break? Yeah! Well, thank you, Calvin will do the microphone. Look at the joy on Calvin's face, look. You'll be on the couch tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so okay, anyway, let's apart from let's, that, let's, let's crack on. If you have a question, Raise your hand. Yeah, what I would like in return for you is your first name, where you come from, and how many cruises you have done with Carnival. So that's your name, where you're from, and how many cruises you've done. That gives me a little uh, time to sort of compute your history. Hi, sir. This Here is we... Edward. Oh, no, he, can, he can talk, Calvin. <laughs> you got a ventriloquist. I know you'd like to put your hand... Never mind. Just give him the microphone. <laughs> Oh, have you? Congratulations! Oh! Wow! Hi, buddy. That's good. My name is Edward. I'm okay. from Florida. And Brian this Ed. is my 53rd Carnival Cruise since 2014. That's amazing. Uh, my 53rd is cruise in yeah. four years, pretty much. Yeah. Anyways, my question is about the VIFP, the VIP thing, the benefits that we get. I have noticed that um, one of the things we had was guaranteed um, reservations for the steakhouse. Yes. Or, and I looked on the website, now it doesn't say it. Yeah. It says priority. That's right. There's too many of you. <laughs> It, it, and and, and this, um, again, as I mentioned at the beginning, you know, there's, I can only be honest with you, I will never be anything but. And, and there are, um, when we first had that, there were less than uh, 1,000 diamonds who over the course of a year would sail sporadically. Um, when I tell you now that we are uh, over 10,000 diamond guests, 500,000 platinum guests, it's an incredible thing that this Lord, so that's why right now we are pressing refresh on the loyalty program. Me personally, I want to do a, um, a loyalty level between platinum and diamond without anybody losing the current status that they have and a diamond plus status as well. Because the program is old. The program is nearly 11 years old now and it's the popularity of cruising with Carnival and your loyalty that has made this thing grow and grow and grow. And we, we can't really, as much as we appreciate and love the loyalty, go up to someone with a blue card and say, we've cancelled your steakhouse reservation because somebody who's cruised a bit more wants the table. We have to encourage thousands of new cruisers to be able to keep building new ships and to be able to keep the prices low. So the whole thing's like a circle. Um, the most important thing is loyal guests, people, and on this cruise there are 2,000 platinum and diamond guests on board. It's the second most we've ever carried, uh, platinum and diamond guests. And, 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 yeah, and, and, and I do think, Lee, are you on the witness protection program here? You're being very vain. You know, I, live, I live in a little town called Lisbon Falls. Do you know where it is? I don't tell me about it. I, I love hearing. Unrefundable. Never. Here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. For every one person who wants us to include the price of the gratuities in the cost of the cruise, there are a hundred who don't. And what we, the, the reason is, is because tipping is still a choice, right? Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Tipping is still a choice in America. We do it in Australia because tipping doesn't really exist too much there. Um, and we include it in the price. And bookings went south very, very quickly. People want the choice. What we have to do, I believe, this is my opinion, 
is make it a little bit more of a challenge for people to remove the gratuities. Not put the price in the cruise because I think that puts the price of the cruise up. I'm Diane from Brooklyn Park, Florida. My husband Jesse and I this is our 21st cruise. Fantastic. And we extremely enjoyed our Mediterranean trips on the Vista and the Horizon. Uh, did, you, did you hear what she said? Yeah. Mediterranean, yes, yes. And we would like to know, we not the panorama, but the ship after it, are you going to be offering cruises on the new ship after the panorama? I'm afraid I can't answer that question. Uh, I can't give you any clue, nothing at all. November the 14th. <laughs> can't tell you anything about anything. No idea, no idea. <laughs> How many people here have cruised Florida? We put all the Floridians on one side. Hi, is anybody from Cleveland? It's 27 there's a few of you, alright. Yes ma'am, what can we do for you? I would like to know when uh, Carmel's going to come out with some new destinations. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing I can tell you. No, it also are going to have one whole long list of cruises that we will do in 2020. That's all I can had me a blast. <laughs> Do you understand why I get mixed messages from this man? <laughs> Trust me, there is no mixed message. It's a no with a massive exclamation mark and a padlock. All right, so there you go. I would rather not. She <laughs> won't oh, never mind. Hello, yes ma'am, what can we do with you? And after this, I'm gonna lift my head to the gallery and see if there's any up there. Yes, I can't Hi, see Hi, John. Hi, tell everybody who you are. CJ. Hi, CJ, how are you? I'm well, from what? the Chicago area. Very good, CJ, from Chicago. Okay, when are you going to bring the tablecloth staff for We're not. every night? We're not. Oh, We're come not. on. We're not. CJ, I, I, I get that some people love them, some people don't care. There is, it saved us thousands and thousands of dollars and more importantly it has saved the environmental the fact that we would wash work this out 60,000 tablecloths a day times 26 ships okay 6,000 I'm sorry 6,000 tablecloths a day times 26 ships um, I understand that people love the tablecloths but it does give a different feel but the service is the same, the food, and twice a week we get to do the formal thing. Um, they're not coming back. Okay. The environment. Janice. Janice, where are you from, Janice? Tennessee. Tennessee. Lovely to see you, Janice. Janice, what can we do for you? What happens if the salt and pepper shakers on the window? Yeah. I don't know. What happened to them? Cars. They don't exist. You don't have any? No. Yes, no? No. Carlos, do we have salt and pepper shakers on the window? No. You do? No. Okay, all right. This is salt and pepper game here. We're looking after your diet, man. Quite honestly, you've got too much salt in your diet. Everybody's been saying <laughs> Obviously, I don't know. Carlos is making a phone call. Before the end of this, I will have an answer for you. Can I just, before you all heckle me here, just by a show of hands, have you seen salt and pepper shakers on the Lido? Yes. How many people have not seen them? They're what? So they're not, how many people have seen them on the tables? All right, okay, we're sorting it out for you right now. Sandra from Melbourne, John. One second, Jacinta, would you do, Carlos in the back, would you grab the answer on the salt and pepper shakers from the HD at the back? He's on by the thing there. Yes, and you mentioned to the gratuities, uh, last sailing we were on, we were very kind of upset at the line that was there to get the gratuities off the bill. I've read posts where people that are new don't understand that will be added to their bill. And they're like, well, if I'd known that, I would have paid it with the port taxes with the cruise. Maybe that should be more pushed when people are booking, especially the first time. Yeah, to that's a very good point. To add the gratuities because they say, well, I knew I was going to have drinks in my second cruise. Clothes or shoes? No, you don't have to wear any clothes, as far as I'm concerned. 
if you want to be naked, you just go right ahead. I I'll be naked if you want. Uh, just tell me. No, don't do it. Trust me, it's don't no big it. thing. <laughs> Sorry, I was I jumped in your question. My apologies. Go ahead. People are what? Eating? 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 Very strict about that public. There's nothing worse. It's certainly sending somebody in a, at a buffet line and there's nothing. Seeing a nipple as you're about to have your salad is not very nice. You never thought I'd be saying that word on stage, did you? <laughs> The, the crew do uh, the, certainly do make sure that people are making sure we You know, the, 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 I'll be, let me be honest with you, right? Because I mean, yes. <laughs> I also have a question, so I was just waiting. It's okay. In my mouth. <laughs> so I'm Cindy from Kentucky, and I have a question about your media package. Yes. Why is it so slow? So uh, this is the old generation. Uh, it's actually got better. No, yes, no. Because yeah, I couldn't do uh, uh, I couldn't do Facebook Live, and loads of people have come to me and said it's got better. This is the old generation. Four ships have been. Has anybody cruised on Horizon and Vista? Much better, right? Yes. Uh, this ship will be upgraded by the end of the year to super fast, the fastest in the cruise industry. So by the end of this year, you will have. Uh, on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the ships, you will have the next generation, and then we'll keep upgrading. I've been that. able to go live on Facebook, but yes. YouTube yeah, and Face stuff. Facebook Live you can do at yeah. seven thirty in the morning if you have the premium package. <laughs> Between seven thirty and say ten, then everybody gets up and everybody starts. And you have to remember, this isn't home, right? Right, right. Satellite. It's a satellite over New Jersey. And if it slips off the wrong exit, we lose the signal altogether. So, um, and then there are certain good times and there are bad times. It's certainly not as good as it, as home, but when you get the um, when you get the new generation, you can uh, now you're just filming an empty stage. No, I, I follow uh, it. Uh, when you get the new generation, you'll see a lot more improvement. Thank okay, you. Okay, we have another we have another question here, John. Hi. She's from Australia. Now, for those people who said, oh, we had a four-hour flight to get here, we're exhausted. How many hours did you fly to get here? From home to hotel? Yes. 29 hours. 29 hours. She's going to have a one-month dry dock in Singapore, where she will be completely Australia-fied, meaning we're going to put a lot of things that we know from experience Australians love. So there's going to be... Um, a lot of flat white coffee, you're going to get all the pies, uh, Australian power in the cabins, uh, there's going to be funnel web spiders in your toilets, and all that kind of stuff, things that you know, you're used to, and um, plus a lot of the, the great uh, ships of the same class, you've got Spirit and Legend, so Legend is coming home, and we'll have more details about that next week, but you get Splendor, which is a bigger ship with more amenities, more upgrades, and more exciting things. Yeah. Uh, Hi, 68 Carnival Cruise. Thank you. You're wearing a poppy. I am wearing a poppy. God bless. Americans wear them too. I'm just learning this. It's um, I, I wasn't aware. That's really great. What can we do for you? Well, I know you did not bring your emotional support yet with you on the I train. didn't, no. But would you comment, please, on Carnival's stand on true service animals versus Right. Emotional support animals. Don't hate her. <laughs> so it's a really good question. Um, we go, we can only go by the American Disability Association's rules and regulations. And their rules and regulations were that if you say you have an emotional supply, uh, support animal service dog and you have the right paperwork, you are allowed on board the ship. A month ago, after a lot of toing and froing, um, we uh, made a rule that we would no longer allow every person to say a service support animal uh, to come on board the ship. 
Now, there are one or two exceptions. For example, there is a gentleman sailing this week. Uh, he is also a diamond member. Uh, sorry, platinum. He's sailing on the uh, um, ship Vista. Thank you, Vista. Uh, and he has an emotional support. But he is uh, a, a gentleman who has uh, lost his right leg. Um, he lost it in an IED in serving with the Marine Corps uh, in Afghanistan. Things and sunglasses to say. But service animals, people who, who need uh, uh, hearing and sight support, uh, epilepsy, and there's a couple of others that uh, we, we're now following again are the ADA rules and regulations. This is my dirtiest cruise, actually. Um, I know some of the women in here are like this. Uh, we all have those of us have Pandora braces. Why can't we, why can't somebody make a Pandora charm? We do. Of, of a whale. Of a whale? Of a whale. Oh, okay. So we have um, the new... There is, uh, there's a new company that does them now on, on half of the fleet um, of whale tail earrings and a necklace and a Pandora charm. That's on the Vista, Horizon, Glory, Conquest and another one. Um, and Pandora are in the process of making one, um, a whale tail pendant and a Pandora charm. Okay, okay. okay. I guess we're going to Shorts. Yep. Okay. Sorry there, Rob. Go ahead. Yeah, Shorts. Here. Which is Sorry, I was about to call you a hobbit, and I realized I didn't want to disrespect you. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that. Thanks, Cam. Thanks. Okay. Well, hobbit, that's not very nice. No, no. Go ahead. Who does Calvin look like? Anybody? I don't even know who that is. Who's that? Who's that? No. Who knows? Except Jenny Reed. No. You are the legend. <laughs> My name is Ron. I hail from Hilton Head, South Carolina, via Atlanta, Georgia. Ah, great and place. We so, uh, before we start, what does that say on your hat? Marines. Because? I am a U.S. Marine. Just wanted to get the most important thing. Okay, by all first responders, police officers, fire department, medical, everybody. Any travel agents here? Who There's here Mr. Right? Bailey. Mary Beth, what, what, do you know the answer to that one? It's, it's not true. No, it's not. I tell you what, Billy. I, 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 Billy. Can you do me a favor? Sir, I've got all the pictures. I got all the pictures. We've got all the signs. Okay. Plug your. Thanks. Could you, could you thanks. please watch your, uh, your name plug and your, number now? Sure. Your and I'll travel. I'll follow up for you after this. I did call and check on that. All one right. No. Book them. Diego. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. What are the next few cruises I'm going to be on? Um, so I've got, um, next up for me is a trip to the yard uh, the, in uh, Italy to uh, take photographs and video of the new panorama. So uh, I'm going to post that on my page because we need to start trumpeting that. Then I have two weeks here uh, on the breeze in January, late, uh, last week in January, first week in February. Uh, for my uh, group cruise. We've got about 700 people booked for that. Um, I'm finalizing my schedule for next year. Um, I'll be doing the first cruise on the uh, Sunrise out of Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, I'm gonna, I must cruise um, the, uh, out of New Orleans. I haven't cruised on the Dream for a long time. I'm going to be coming down to Australia to visit... Uh, my name's Liz. I'm from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. <laughs>